thinking about going to the bar. Uh, but I think that your question is slightly premature, and uh, I understand fully what you're implying and what you're suggesting in all the three questions that you have asked. But unfortunately, and I do not want in any way to prejudice the situation, and I am, in any event, I'm in no position to answer your questions. The only person that can do that, if it's, it's possible for him to do that, is Paul himself. Done. If it was possible to take a guitar into uh, his detention, but unfortunately, um, the request was denied. It remains to be seen. I'm sure it's having an effect on him. That is, that is for definite. Yes. I don't know. Yes, Wayne Britton in New Zealand Broadcasting. Have the um, Linda and the children been doing um, in the last couple of days? Not at all. There has been some thought about the possibility of a some sort of a um, compromise decision which would allow Mr. McCartney to leave rather shortly or rather to be deported. Has that been part of your legal consideration? <laughs> you, uh, again, you're asking questions that we just can't answer. I'm sorry. Pretty much. I'm very sorry. Um, did you approach the British Embassy about this matter? Did you approach the British Embassy, your own embassy, about this case? Yes, in fact, it was the um, um, British consulate that, in fact, arranged the interview for Linda yesterday. And they have, in fact, been very helpful towards us and are completely up to date with the picture. I'll take one more last question, if there is one. Well, of Morris Now Magazine, uh, there were reports that the uh, visa has, the Paul McCartney's visa had been uh, revoked, uh, given and then revoked, so uh, it, it was said legally he is not here. Uh, how do you see the situation of somebody who is legally not here being charged? Is, is there any, is there any uh, truth in this? <clears throat> Does he have a valid visa right now? Doesn't he have a visa? Or w what is the legal situation with uh, with a situation like that? Is there anything that you could tell us about that? <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to be a uh, law school student again to make a better answer for you. Anyway, uh, we have not yet received any information uh, officially and directly from any government authorities. And therefore, I cannot endorse the information is correct or in incorrect. And uh, generally speaking, a foreigner comes to Japan and smuggles something. And the terms of his, uh, his visa is usually expired while the investigation is being held. Then, criminal procedure must be given a priority. And after a court order or a prosecutor's determination, then immigration office will take over. It's normally one day or two days, at least three days, that's all. And I just spoke to you a general treatment. And please do not misunderstand that now I am speaking about the Paul case. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, ladies, thank you very much. Thank you.
Yeah. They are really crazy, and I couldn't say anything. In person, by telephone.
ますよ。